you think? Good. Good. All right, what's up, everybody? It's uh, Wednesday. I think it's the 25th. No, 26th. August 26th, 2020. And I'm fucking around with this reloading stuff. And I'm trying to decap 308. <clears throat> And this thing, which is the, serves two, two different functions, but it's a part that can automatically prime the shell. It keeps falling out during this process. Unfortunately, I'm not using it for this process, but what it does is it blocks, there's a hole in here. Uh, I probably can't see it, but when I punch the primer out, this tool guides the bad primer into this tray. And so I need it, otherwise the primers just fall on the floor and shit. So, 3D printer to the rescue. Uh, let me see, how does this go? I think it goes like this. And I'm hoping... Uh, let me see, maybe it goes like this. Hoping to bypass the need for using that because I'm not using that the way I'm doing my reloads right now. So let me uh, let me use two hands. Kind of impossible. Hey, that's Okay, there it is. So when you go down, it pushes in, and I guess it can flap back, or, you know, fall off completely. Of course it's not hooking on there properly. All right, let's try this really quick. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so the goal is to not have this part fall out. I just waited to print this because this thing this metal one was falling out every fucking two minutes or every like couple rounds and it was driving me nuts and I'm like yeah I don't want to have to pick that off the ground every time I do one okay so far so good and all that does is channel and it makes it so when the old primer falls down into this tube it ejects out the side instead of falling out the back so I don't know when it was but last week I bent the decapping pen on my dot and had to go and get an entirely new one, or new uh, set of pins. So I have quite a bit of 308, but uh, that's it. Uh, it is hot as hell out here. So I'm gonna cut the video and get moving. 